Good morning, welcome to ESC TV. My name is Luna Gargani, I'm a cardiologist and I'm here representing the Club 35 of the European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging. Today we are very pleased to interview Dr. Eugenio Picano, who is director of the Institute of Clinical Physiology of the National Research Council in Pisa, Italy. He is recognized worldwide for his studies on stress echocardiography and he is also a renowned expert on sustainability in medical imaging. So let's talk about non-invasive cardiovascular imaging. What has changed in the time span of one generation of cardiologists? Virtually everything. Now we can have uh, the possibility to make coronary angiography without catheters with CT. We can make uh, non-invasive myocardial biopsy with CMR and we can make uh, echocardiography with pocket-sized machines thanks to the tremendous technological advancement. But most importantly, the cultural attitude to imaging changed because for my generation, uh, to make uh, an imaging study was uh, for a cardiologist to live an imaging experience, but everything was clinically driven. Now, unfortunately, due to early specialization and high technological impact, imaging specialists are uh, super specialists living a cardiological experience, and this is also the major danger for the clinical dividend of the technique. Yes, and things have also been changing outside the cardiac imaging lab. And in particular, do you think that the current difficult economic situation is affecting the way we practice cardiovascular imaging? Certainly it is, and it will do more and more in the very near future. At our, for our generation, the cost was not important, and the more you spent on health care, the better you were considered to be a doctor. Now we realize that uh, every useless examination will uh, be a, an examination that is not performed in a patient in need in due time. So it is important in our daily prescription an image wisely strategy. We have just to make the most of our imaging money to choose always the most cost-effective and the less risky option in front of a variety of different opportunities. Less is more in imaging. Yeah, I see. And, and long-term risks are also important. Yes, we now learned that uh, there are different types of risk. Certainly we include in our risk benefit assessment the acute risk, for instance, the complication during stress, or subacute risk, for instance, contrast-induced nephropathy. But we learned now that are at least equally important the long-term risks, those that we do not see and are linked to the use of ionizing radiation, which has a recognized cancer effect. So we have not only to minimize acute risk, but also to include in the risk-benefit assessment the long-term invisible cancer risks that will take place after decades. Okay, so you know that the European Association of Cardiovascular Imaging includes a very lively group of young cardiologists and young experts in cardiovascular imaging. It is the CLEP 35. What would you advise these young colleagues? Well, first of all, they live in an exciting moment because we are in the middle of an economic crisis but also technological growth that will change completely the landscape of cardiac imaging. So we, for your generation, this is a unique opportunity to give a breakthrough, disruptive contribution both on the scientific and on the clinical side. And then, more generally, it is important in academy and in the professional life of any one of us to choose a good uh, scientific and professional father and then uh, to grow up soon and to kill it and to eat it. Okay, I'll take your advice. So uh, I'm asking you now three key words for the near future of European imaging. Not only European, for the future of imaging, I think that uh, things will change very rapidly and the revolution in imaging will uh, be in the name of three key words. The first one is pervasivity. We will more and more use pocket size imaging devices allowing to scan almost everyone and everywhere. 
Second key word is connectivity. In the wireless connection world, we will more and more use the remote connection so that you can scan the patient in Sahara or in Nepal or in the Red Sea and then to have a, a second line consultation in Cleveland or in Zurich or in Pisa having access to the best um, expertise almost in real time. And the third world, the, mo the most important one is the sustainability. We have to use wisely the resources devoted to cardiac imaging so that we can have the best with the least expenses and the least risk. This will be promoted by the current economic revolution, which is not uh, by necessity a bad thing for the quality of care of our patients, because if you are short on money, you have to think. Okay, so as a final question, a take-home message for our generation. You are uh, in a very favorable position because you live in the middle of a crisis. Crisis uh, means danger, but means also opportunity. In five years from now, the cardiac imaging practice and science will be totally different from what you learned from your masters. So the future is in your talent, in your uh, uh, capability to work and in your eyes. Okay, so thank you very much for sharing your perspective with us. Thank you. ESC Congress 365 is your free access to ESC Congress content all year long.